guys and welcome back to my world. Now, um, today what I have for you is something a lot of people have been asking for in various forms and it's a life counter. So using the actual um, scoreboarding system, um, yes, this is a life counter. Now, the, the, the absolute cool thing about this life counter is that you can scale it indefinitely so as many people as on your server you can actually scale it to you will need uh, one of these mechanisms so you'll need one of uh, as you can see this black part you'll need one of these for each and every single person so you'll need one two three four command blocks over there well five command blocks if you're doing some testing and then the me me mechanism and the other end but what I'm going to do first of all is just quickly show you guys okay so on the right hand side over here you'll see that there is lives and both of our lives is zero at the moment okay because we've just kind of finished the mock fight which means that the lights over there they are not on so as you can see I'm black I've got no lives and Farah over there is red and he's got no lives the moment I actually um, add some lives to us let me just see if I've got that somewhere uh, at the moment I add one life to all to Farah you'll see one of his lives goes on if I add another life two lives go on. Now if I actually add a life to myself, okay, uh, okay, Dragnos, you'll see uh, two lives goes on for me as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give everybody um, at all players, I'm going to give four lives. Okay, so we full health there. So what's going to happen is every single time one of us dies, okay, on the right hand side, one of our lives will drop down okay uh, and you'll see that the lights go off so okay so let me just turn it to night okay I do like a night fight and it actually looks kind of cool if it's uh, over there so um, okay uh, game mo mode survival uh, oh he's already done it okay so uh, I just need to do it so Right, okay, oops, no, uh, zero. I'm not going to cheat yet. There we go. Okay, cool. Are you ready? And ready? Uh, ready? And there we go. So you'll see he's got player one and I've got player two. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so basically we'll see um, the Taurus did quite bad at the... <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to just... Okay, I'm going to have to jump off here. <laughs> okay, you'll see I've died. <laughs> so immediately on the right-hand side, you'll see that I've got three lives. Um, I have now have three lives left. If I respawn, you'll also see that my life counter... <laughs> Ooh, nice, he's down. Yeah, so I can actually now... Go, oh, <laughs> and I'm following behind him. <laughs> okay, um, you now see that... Uh, I have uh, two lives left and Farah has three lives so you can actually see the life counter over there uh, that it's like that so let me just okay, okay. Uh, not read it. <laughs> a firefight there we go ah, both of us <laughs> okay so you'll see that I have um, one life left Farah has two lives left okay so uh, let's get back on the beam <laughs> Back on the beam. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. Okay, you ready? And <laughs> he keeps. I need. To, he keeps hitting me off. Ah! He's good. I don't know what he's do. <laughs> okay. So now you'll see. I have no more lives left. I have received a message at the bottom here. Dragnos has lost. Ah, our new map. Yeah. Sorry. I kind of renamed the <coughs> command block, and it. Yeah. That's what it says. So I've lost. And uh, you'll see Forrest died again. And he has zero lives. Um, right. So, that, yeah. That, that, that is it. So this is a very, very effective um, life counter. So, okay. So let's go and see what this actually looks like. Uh, let me just get my... Right. Okay. So first of all, all you can see over here is I've got select player one and select player two. So... 
Uh, you'll see on top of Farah's head, he's got a one, uh, a one player. And on top of my head, I've got a two player. So it just sets us apart that we are separate players. Now, if you're going to expand this and have multiple players, you'll need to have uh, player one, player two, player three, player four, player five, player six, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this literally all this, these command blocks does is set our players. So it sets our score as player two and our score as player one. Okay. So that's really all it does. Right, and then this is really where the magic happens. This is it. Okay, so I've got a, uh, a hopper clock over here that feeds into uh, the redstone line over here that just runs and tests all of these various things. Okay, and what this does, it tests for... if my So it tests for um, score player underscore minimum equals 2. So first of all, it tests if I am player 2. If I'm player 2, it's going to test for the next thing. The next thing it tests is if I've got a minimum live lives of 1. So on the right hand side you'll see my lives. Um, if I do have a 1, uh, it'll actually, so this is a test for command, it will then turn on and it'll turn on the light. So if I now just flag myself, um, let me see if I can give myself a life again, uh, give myself one life, it'll detect it and it'll put give me one life. Okay, and then the next command block is exactly the same for, it's a test for, so I'm just going to show you. It's a test for, but this time it tests for the minimum life of two. Right, so it, this light will always stay on unless I have less than two lives. Then this one over here is three, so it'll stay on as long as I have at least three lives. And this one is four, it'll stay on as long as I've got four lives. Okay, and then uh, this command block over here just t tests if I've got zero lives. And if I do have zero lives, it activates and just gives the message that says you have lost. Now what you can do is you can actually um, add some some more teleport commands or you know remove things from me or do any kind of thing from this. So this is your kind of your output for the loser. You can flip it around and and output it as the winner as well very very easily. Now this over here is replicated over here straight away. Easy, easy, easy. Right now. Okay, so we've got another a clock running over here, hopper clock this time, um, and it goes into a command block that tests if anybody has died. Now, deaths is an objective that is set up, which is the uh, death count. So it's the standard death count. Every time some, someone dies, it'll add one to your death. This is this is one of the default scoreboard functions. So a test of anyone at all has that particular has a, a score of of, of uh, one. If it does, it'll turn on and it'll turn off this red torch, which will then turn on this redstone clock over here. Okay, so the moment that turns off, it'll actually turn on this redstone torch first. And this is important, this needs to be first. The first thing you need to do is then remove one from their lives. So as long as the player has a death score of at least one, so a minimum of one, it will remove one from the lives on the right hand side, which will immediately turn off one of the lights. Then it'll run into this command block over here, which then actually removes that one death sc score. So it'll remove one from your death count. Okay, so you'll always you always want your death count to be zero unless somebody dies. So it then removes one from the death count. This clock will then go go around and check again if um if the death is minimum of one. If, for example, you've died three or four times, which is not unlikely, this won't really happen, but it's just for, for your interest. If you have died a number of times, this clock will keep on running until it's removed all of the scores. And that really, that's it. It's as absolutely simple, simple, simple as as um, that. So yeah, guys, um, I don't know, do you want to see another another battle? Let's see if maybe Farah wants another battle. Uh, Another battle. Yep, he seems up for it. Okay, so let's do one more battle and then, um, yeah, that's it. So four. So first of all, I just need to set our lives to four again. Obviously, you'll automate this in some way. Right. So we've got a four, and then I'm just going to turn it night again. Uh, time set. Time set night. Oh. Okay, and here we go. So it is K 
game uh, fame mode game mode uh, zero okay here we go on the beam of death okay this <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at this I'm really really bad so let me just uh, change my there we go <laughs> I'm very very bad at, at this <laughs> no I'm not gonna die today I'm not gonna let me go get him where he is up there <laughs> why <laughs> okay I'm absolutely horrifically terrible at this okay <laughs> And I want to know. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> I'm quite embarrassed about this now. <laughs> oh goodness! I think he's planning this on purpose. Um, and he thought I was bad at. He was bad at PvP. I'm even more. Terrible than him. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now, now, now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you'll see um, at the bottom, Dragnos has lost. I don't think I'm gonna ever win any of my um, any of my uh, PvP games. Okay, let me just um, let me just TP Farah's. Let me just do Farah. TP here. I'm gonna TP him to zero, uh, two hundred, uh, V zero. Okay. And if he's still in creative, if he's still, <laughs> I can do that all night. Let's see if I can do it again. Where is he? <laughs> this time he's not going to fall for it. <laughs> he's probably put himself back in creative. Okay, anyway, guys, enough enough with this tomfoolery. Um, guys, thanks very much uh, for watching. If you really like this, please help me out. Let Help me grow. Favorite this, share it, and get it out there on uh, the Reddits and stuff. Also, if you want to take part in my videos, do follow me on Twitter. I do... Um, I do say when I'm making videos and when I need help. So, yeah, please have a look. And as also what I'm going to do, I'm going to download a part of this map. Because this is the map I'm working on. So this map will be up for download very, very shortly. But yeah, download for this particular bit of the map is in the link below. So guys, cheers. As always, thanks for watching. And I will check you all later.